Hi, everybody. I am so excited about talking to you today. Uh, today, I want I am introducing my upcoming class, uh, CMED's upcoming class, actually, um, for in the continuation of what started out as the Mystical Spring program with Andrew and Mirabai and then my class. And now it's moving into <clears throat> the mystical year with a class starting in August taught by my dear friend and wonderful colleague, Robert Holden, who is a British psychologist and also the author of numerous books on uh, the subject of love and, and personal transformation. He is a master teacher as well. And through the years, I've gotten to know Robert, and I discovered that he was an expert teacher on the Enneagram. And as I thought about um, mysticism, which I think about all the time, mysticism is, is you, you know, not just this personal rich experience. The, a mystical view includes understanding the mystical tools of the cosmos, the, uh, um, the, the, the mystical landscape in which we live. And there are tools that human beings have evolved that allow us to crack the codes, to kind of look deeper within the mystical fabric of life. Um, astrology is one such tool and um, the Kabbalah is another tool and so is the Enneagram. Now on the Enneagram is um, uh, a model of nine personality types. So an Ennea um, similar to archetypes and so each there's, you know, like the helper and the achiever and the perfectionist and the and the peacemaker. These are some of the types, but they it it goes along with the fact that this universe is structured on patterns and mathematics. And there's a way we are always looking to understand those patterns. There's patterns in medicine, patterns in science. Patterns are how we find our way, the routes through which we look for repetitive patterns in order to understand structure, including the structure in ourselves and the patterns within our, <clears throat> within our life. And patterns and mathematics are expressions of the nature of God. The divine is not random. It is ordered. It is ordered in the universe, in the structure of the heavens, in the structure of the flow of the planetary cycles. Everything is ordered and everything has a mathematical formula to it. The speed of the planets, the order of the tides, every single thing. You know, um, when I was when I was first introduced to the Enneagram, I'll tell you a story. Years ago, I have to admit it went in one ear and out the other because um, I'm I'm not quick to move. I I move slowly in my knowledge bank, uh, but when I move, I absorb everything I can. Um, so that's how I move. I move kind of like this. All my earth moves with me so that I, when I grab onto a, 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 a subject, when I grab onto knowledge, I want it all. And it just, I consume. And um, so that when I'm approached by something, I or it, someone introduces something, I, I'm so cautious because I know me and I know that if I develop an interest in it, I don't just look, I consume. So um, when friends of mine, I started to notice that, and I'm a, I'm a natural observer, I started to notice, you know, through the years that a lot of people were looking at the Enneagram, studying it, 
and were devoted to the study of it, like so many people were devoted to the study of astrology, which is something I related to because I started to study astrology when I was in my 20s. And it made sense to me, and it was a language that made sense to me. It was introduced to me by a Jesuit professor when I was in graduate school who said to me, I will not listen to you criticize this until you've studied it, and then we can have a discussion. Once you have the knowledge, then I'll speak to you. And I thought, that made sense. So I studied. And as I studied, I developed a reverence for it. And I thought, with that in mind, um, I did not go near the Enneagram. Um, and I will add, I have a natural, I had a natural, it didn't make sense to me. And then, this is what happened a few years ago. <clears throat> I used to teach this wonderful program with Wisdom University. Um, in mystery school at Chartres in France. And uh, this is too long a story to go into it, but it was spectacular. And we awakened the mystery school that used to exist there a thousand years ago. And it was um, uh, a seven-year program that we taught twice. And it, 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 it followed the pattern of teaching the seven liberal arts that that um, you, you know Plato and Aristotle and that they these great teachers believed were essential for human beings to learn to prepare the soul to live in the world, like um, rhetorica, dialectica, mathematics, music, sacred geometry, astronomy which eventually became astronomy, astrology, the knowledge of the planets and how they spoke to us, sacred geometry, how the alignment of angles um, and the ley lines of the earth spoke to each other because everything was the study of power, everything. Well, for some reason, Jim Garrison, who organizes this, said to me, you teach next year, and it was on mathematics. And I thought, are you out of your mind? Are you out? Why don't you ask me to teach swimming class? That's how ill-prepared I am to do this. And, <clears throat> but he said, no, nah, you know, I think it'd be good for you. So I, you have no idea how, I mean, why not car mechanics? So... I started to read Pythagoras. This behind me, there's a whole shelf on Pythagoras now. I, I thought, well, I'll, 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 I'll read Pythagoras. So I became enamored with Pythagoras. I mean, if you're going to study math, go to the origin. And I had a conversion experience. And I can't go forever on Pythagoras, though I should, and you would love it. But suffice to say, this man who gave us geometry, who gave, I don't know who he was, but he was in love with numbers, with mathematics, the language of math, the language of everything. And as I read his understanding of numbers, for him, they were living forces. And as I read that, it was as if something, a light went on in me because it made so much sense. For him, number one, the number one, was actually whole, holism. It was actually the number of the consciousness of holism. And in order to understand the power of one, you had to understand the power of whole. Now get this. You had to understand that if someone was out of the number one, they were fractured, which meant 
that they were always engaging in a consciousness of trying to gather their pieces. Do you understand what I just said to you? Can you just pause and think about what I just said to you? That means they're trying to gather their pieces. I transferred that to the chakra system and applied it to that. Then, I, I could go on and on and on about this, but now I'm going to take you to the Enneagram. So what I said to Robert, can you teach the Enneagram for me? Because now, numbers were like these sacred forces. And it made sense to me that because I so understood that we were layered, we were, we, we were layered in first chakra, second chakra, third, fourth, that, that the universe was ordered in vibrational fields, that how could we not have some kind of resonance with certain fields that were just dominant to our character and to our life path. And that's what this, the Enneagram, the word itself is Greek, which means it must have had an influence from Pythagoras. There must be roots in the Pythagorean life force of numbers. And it, the whole thing made sense. It just blew into a reality that <clears throat> if I could meet anyone through history, it would be Pythagoras. How I adore Pythagorean mathematics. And that, to me, is part of the Enneagram system. Robert is going to teach this. Just, just listen to this. This is him. Over the 10-week period, you're going to learn the purpose of the Enneagram, your type, your journey of growth, healing inner blocks, recognizing your soul gifts. And then he asked me if I would close each class with a meditation and a commentary on that number. And, uh, you know, and he, uh, and I thought, well, Okay, but, and I thought, well, maybe I, as I think about it, maybe I could add a Pythagorean twist to it and something holy and something Pythagorean. Who knows? You know me. I'll come up with something. But what a class. I'm going to take the class because I don't, obviously I'm going to take the class as a student with you because I don't know this Enneagram the way Robert does. I don't know it at all, but I do know that it makes so much sense. And I am thrilled that he, to offer you this cosmic tool because personally I want to take it myself, but I any access to a mystical tool is for me a reason to explode with enthusiasm. Just explode with enthusiasm. And any opportunity you have to understand your life path a little bit more that opens up the mystical world just a little bit more. And you see how organic God is, that God is in every little flow, every little fiber, every little detail, that heaven hasn't missed a trick, that you get out of this idea that it's an off-planet God that looks like a man that's hiding someplace behind the clouds. No, 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 no. It's in every little fiber. And the more you crack the codes, the more you see it. You see it in structure. You see it in numbers. You see it in the patterns of life. You see it in the genius of, of, of the structure of creation. Then you see it in yourself. You see it in the workings of your nature and the workings of your power. 
So I am thrilled. I am thrilled to offer you this class. CMED is thrilled to offer you this class. It starts August 10th through August through September 9th. So it's 10 um, classes. And um, you, it'll just take a look at it. The schedule is on site. And um, I will be doing a interview with Robert, a chat with Robert in the next few days. Um, about his class and so I'll ask him to explain a little bit more deeply his understanding of the Enneagram um, and that'll make you even more enthusiastic about it than I can but trust me when I tell you he is a marvelous magnificent teacher and I think you will be as enthusiastic about this as I am so thank you all <laughs>